definitely going slightly insane. Um, this view is very beautiful, but yes, once again, very, very tedious, tedious. My ultimate goal for this expedition is to spot a coastal wolf, the apex predator in this ecosystem. But so far, I've had no luck finding them. So I'm gonna hunker down and wait for them to come to me. I have to build what wildlife photographers call a hide. Basically, the goal of a hide is to break up my outline so that animals that are evolutionary programmed to fear my shape won't recognize me. But just as importantly, a hide is a place for me to sit all day that shields me from the elements. Oh, cozy. Well, I guess the, the wait begins. Day two in the hide. So far, no wolf action. Day four in the hide. Not a lot, not a lot going on, to be honest. Um, oh, one exciting thing. There's actually tons of birds around. Down the beach, there's a spot where I've seen a heron fishing. And it's pretty funny to watch him wrestle his dinner. Day five in the hide. I was looking around the tree line and I heard something up in the tree and it was a barred owl. And I know this because his call sounds a bit like, who cooks for you, who cooks for you. It's pretty cool but it's not the howl of a wolf. There's also some, uh, some Canada geese, and these geese are on an epic migration down the coast. They make a racket as well. That's nothing like what they sound like. Beautiful sunny day. How am I feeling? Uh, bored? Well, earlier there was a juvenile glaucus wing gull gulping down some insects. Which I guess is a good day for the gull, not a great day for me. We're just on our way back to camp and we stopped because the sky exploded. <laughs> and while I was stopped shooting the sunset, I spotted these two tiny little western sandpipers foraging in the seaweed. And one of them is missing a foot. And although they don't use their feet, obviously, when they're flying, it's a massive handicap because they feed by sticking their bills into the, into the sand to pick up little invertebrate crunchies. So, I mean, just watching it here, it's really struggling to stab and then run a little bit, stab and then run a little bit. Interestingly, the other sandpiper that it's with seems perfectly physically fit. So uh, hopefully, we'll help the other one along, along the way. Eight days and I haven't even seen a whisker, a paw print, a tail, anything. No wolf action. I think I need to mix it up. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. This is an episode in a big series. So if you'd like to see the rest of the series, please click on the playlist below and I will see you next week.